Okay, so we've created an area for putting in our page two sample images. And we're going to look at a few different ways of getting those images in. So the first method is to find the images folder and to grab one of these images and simply drag it across. And we can see that as we move it across that the cursor changes place. And that's an indication of where it's going to go. And if I put it here, then you can see that it's imported into the right place. If I'll do Control Z, I'm going to now firstly remove this content. And now I'm going to insert it. And I can highlight it. And inserting by the second method, with the cursor here, I can insert by selecting it and choosing from the Assets panel, sorry. I can choose the second one like this and choose Insert. And then I can choose the one after that by the same method. So the cursor is through to the end. I'll choose Assets, choose the second one, Insert, and the third one, Insert. And let's have a look at how that looks. And we can see that they're going nicely in on the left-hand side. I'm going to select all of this text from the right-hand side one and delete that and into that position I want to put the larger one not that one I should have a second one somewhere I'll find the image a bit later I think that bloke and dog is the wrong one in fact and I can see from that that it's the wrong one I'm just going to see if I can drag it from over here. Nope, that also looks like the wrong one. However, there's another folder where it has gone. Drag that into the right place. And now when I look at assets, it should be there. If I press refresh, F5. Still not appearing, so I'll drag it from the file menu. It's man and dog too. And I'll drag this in. I'm actually going to need to put this out of the way. And drag it this way, man and dog too. So if we save that, by doing control S and we look at it in design view we can see that the images are on the left and the one on the right 